So, sticking with our lighting theme, um, we are going to uh, take a look at dip switches. It's one of the things that confused me the most when I first got into lighting. Um, there are two different types of dip switches. Um, the first type is the easiest. They have tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds. You just add them up until you get the number you want for your DMX address that will be talking uh, to your console, to your board. Um, the other type is the type we have here uh, that I brought for an example. Um, and it's confusing. You can add all of these things up, but I find it way simpler and easier um, to use a little uh, app called DMX Dip Calc. And all you do is you type in your address. So let's say the address for this is going to be 501. Five zero one. You hit calculate, and it tells you which dip switches to throw up or down. The only difference, the only thing that gets confusing here is which sides up and which sides down, depending on how your unit's hung or where you are and what you're doing. Um, but you'll know that it should be labeled on the dip switches themselves. Um, so in this case, for five hundred one, we have everybody up except for dip switch two and four. So we'll switch to and four, and that'll give us the address of 501. So when we plug DMX in, we'll have control over the RGB tape um, that this happens to be powering, as for our example. Um, a lot of these also have function uh, switches on them, which is another confusing aspect of the dip switch of for, and that'll be for your individual piece, and just you have to make sure that function button is switched, because if it's switched to whatever function it does automatically, um, that changes what the dip switches do as well, as you can see when I flip all of them. Ah, crap. It goes uh, into whatever different automated setting the box has in it. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch our other videos, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.